See the game more clearly with high-definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. What's the focus been in training this week? Because obviously it's still, as, as we all know, a learning curve here. Yeah, the focus is very much on ourselves, is to try and, and uh, make us a better football team. Um, uh, I, I guess the competition demands that you set pieces of a certain quality and, uh, and ours wasn't last weekend, so yeah, we, we certainly had a set-piece focus this week. And it's just that, that general trying to get uh, uh, add bits and pieces to our game, trying to get comfortable with uh, how each other plays, trying to get comfortable with the style that we're trying to play. So each week we're learning. Um, I, I honestly thought that it was our best performance uh, of the year so far uh, against Exeter. So I'm, I'm encouraged by the direction we're going. But that said, that we, we've still got things to work on and, and the focus this week has been set piece. And obviously, you know, the way that that works, I suppose, very key on personnel because people still gelling with playing alongside each other. Just how can you get them all singing off the same name sheet as quickly as possible? Well, we've just got to we've just got to train better, train harder. Guys got to do the work away from the park. Like it's uh, you, you don't click your fingers and it, and it happens. But uh, we'll just work away. Like the, the the attitude to training is superb. The the guy the work that the guys are doing on the, on the uh, laptops again. They they committed. They're motivated. They they're, uh, they want to do well. So all the ingredients are there, and uh, we've just got to fast track. I suppose it's, it's using their brains as well as the, the brawn out on the field, isn't it? It's actually that homework, the unseen stuff that perhaps didn't wasn't necessarily part of the game what, 10, 20 years ago, maybe. Well, it's also trying to change habits. Uh, and again, you know, I prob probably think with with uh, seven minutes to go, we, we had an opportunity to win the game, but we didn't uh, respect the ball well enough to give ourselves the opportunity to win the game. And, and you know, that, that, that's a harsh learning when... Uh, when you're playing against a good side, so uh, so th there's always plenty to take out of each week, and and all we ask is that we, we see those learnings taken, and uh, and and the proof of that in the in the following week's game. Excellent, London Welsh. I mean, if anything, they've had more changes on the field even than Gloucester have. Um, I suppose it's the the two new teams against each other almost, isn't it? It is, yeah. And but our focus is very much on ourselves. Like, uh, yeah, we'll go up to Casham Stadium, but but. We just need to worry about what's in our own backyard and not worry too much about the opposition. Fitness does seem to be a bit of an issue with them. Does that mean patience is going to be key for Gloucester? It just means we've got to play our game and play it well. Like I, I, I'm not sure that I, I can't speak for their fitness. I can't speak for what they do. All I know is where I know where some of our deficiencies are, and I know that we just need to work hard to try and get a result. So again, we'll just be worrying about ourselves, not too much about what London Welsh will do. But because of their form, is this actually a good game for Gloucester that you know you still need to be picking up wins here and there as well as improving performances, don't you? Well, our aim is to, to try and pick up wins uh, against all opposition. So, uh, and again, the better we play, the more the more we'll do that. We gave ourselves an opportunity to win the game last week. We didn't go through with it. I'm hopeful we'll give ourselves another opportunity this week.